Okay, so now you're going to take, and we're going to do the magic circle again. So just like we did for the nose and the snout, this is how you're going to hold your yarn. And I'm still using my F crochet hook. And then I'm just going to bring up a loop, yarn over, and just go through that loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. And then you're just going to hold the base of the magic circle just like you did before. And then we're going to close it. And now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. So you're going to go in that first stitch and then do two single crochet into the same stitch. And then two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12 and then come back. Now we're going to do our increase rounds. So I just placed a yarn marker right where I left off and I'm going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second stitch and then I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. When you get back to the yarn marker go ahead and move it up and now you're going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and again we're going to do another increase round so now you're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around. Now you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up and you're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches and then two single crochet into the fifth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So this is how your work should look now and I already have my yarn marker up where I left off and now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Now you're going to make your body the same way that you made your head and for my body, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rows of one single crochet into every stitch. The next thing you're going to do on your body is take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do your decrease round. So you're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches and then you're going to do your decrease stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up for our next decrease round and you're going to do one single crochet into the first three stitches and then do your decrease stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn and now we have our last decrease stitch so you're going to do one single crochet into two stitches and then do your decrease stitch and again, you're going to repeat your pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you can take your yarn marker and remove it. And we're going to do our slip stitch. Go into the next stitch over. Yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then we're going to finish off. Yarn over and just pull enough yarn to bury into your work. 
And now I'm going to show you how to make the front paws. Now for the front paw, you're going to do the magic circle. So you're going to drape the yarn across your four fingers and use your thumb to stabilize. Wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers twice and then hold it with your pinky and your thumb. And then take your crochet hook, go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over, and go through that loop for your slip knot. And then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. And just like we've done before, we're going to close the magic circle. And then you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. So two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 and then come back. Okay, so you can go ahead and close your magic circle center now by pulling on the loose yarn end on the back and then go ahead and get your yarn marker place it right where you left off and then we're going to do our increase rounds you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker now we're going to do our next increase round Go ahead and do one single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. We're going to do our last increase now. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up and you're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches. and then you're going to do two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay, so now go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around. So one single crochet into every stitch. After completing one single crochet round. Now you're going to take your yarn marker and we're going to do decreases to form the front of the paw. So you're going to go into the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, you're going to go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and you're going to yarn over and then go through all three for a decrease stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do one more. So eight decrease stitches and you can see how it forms a little pouch for the front of the paw. Now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do one single crochet into every stitch all the way around. Go ahead and finish one single crochet into every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now we're going to do four decreases. There's one, and there's two. and three 
and the last one. So that was four decreases. And now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet into every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. This is how your work should look. You can see how you have a nice paw forming. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch for 15 rounds. So go ahead and finish 15 rounds of one single crochet into every stitch around. So you should have completed 15 rounds of one single crochet into every stitch. And now we're going to do a slip stitch. So go ahead and take your yarn mark, I mean your crochet hook, go into that next stitch, yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, you're going to yarn over and go through that loop and pull enough yarn through to sew the foot onto the body. And now you're going to need two of these. So you should have finished two of the front legs. And now I'm going to show you how to do the hind leg. You're going to start the back leg the same way that you did the front legs, except you're going to stop after you do one, two, three, four, five rows of one single crochet into every stitch. Then you're going to take your yarn marker and move it up and we're going to do increase rounds. So you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch and then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now you're just going to do one round of one single crochet into every stitch. So go ahead and do one single crochet into every stitch around and then come back. Now we're going to do another increase round. You're going to do one single crochet into two stitches and then in the third stitch you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around. And again we're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around. So one single crochet into every stitch around. This will be our last increase round. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up and you're going to do one single crochet into the first three stitches. And then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then repeat the pattern all the way around. After this round, go ahead and take your yarn marker up and now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around for three rounds. So complete three rounds of one single crochet into every stitch. After you finish three rows of one single crochet into every stitch, we're going to start doing our decrease rounds. So now you're going to do one single crochet into three stitches. And then you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a decrease stitch. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now take your yarn marker and move it up and you're just going to do one round of one single crochet into every stitch. So just one single crochet into every stitch all the way back to the yarn marker. 
Now we're going to do another decrease round, but this time you're going to do one single crochet into two stitches, and then you're going to do your decrease stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and do one round of one single crochet into every stitch. For our next decrease round, you're going to do one single crochet into one stitch, and then you're going to do your decrease stitch. And repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you can go ahead and stuff the hind leg, and then you're going to take your crochet hook, and we're going to close the end. So you're just going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, go into the next stitch, and bring up a loop, and then you're going to do your decrease stitch, and you're going to do a decrease stitch all the way around. And then you're just going to keep doing a decrease stitch until it's almost closed and then come back and I'll show you how to slip stitch it closed. Now you can see how I'm almost closed so now you can skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And you're just going to do that all the way around until your work is completely closed. And then once it's closed, you're just going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work to finish off. And then you're going to take your loose yarn end, place it onto your tapestry needle, and then you're just going to go right where you tied your knot and just come out anywhere. and then just cut your loose yarn end and then you have your hind leg. So now you're going to want to stuff the body with some pillow stuffing and then take the two front feet and make sure that they're stuffed as well and that the paws are stuffed well and then you're going to take your tapestry needle And we're going to sew the front legs to the front of the body. So just line up your front leg. Make sure that the paw is sticking facing forward. And then you're just going to take your tapestry needle and you're just going to sew. Make sure you get both top stitches on the front foot and then the top stitch of the body and then just sew back and forth with your tapestry needle until it's connected and then you're going to do the same thing with the other front leg and put it right next to the first one. After you sew the front legs on then you're going to take the head and we're going to sew the head on so now just take the head and you want to make sure that you line up the nose so that the nose is in between the two front legs. And then you're going to take your tapestry needle with the same colored yarn and you're going to go right through the center between the two front legs. And then you're just going to take and go right through the center of the head. Make sure that you leave enough yarn end for tying a knot and burying the loose yarn end. And 
And then you're just going to take and sew the head on. And just be careful as you're sewing the head on that you don't sew the head on crooked and the nose is pointing this way or that way that you keep the nose straight as you sew around. And the toughest part is going to be sewing through the front leg so you can kind of let go of the head for a minute and then go through the front leg and then go through the head and pull the yarn through. And you may not get the head sewn on with every stitch as you're working around, so you may have to make two rounds as you sew the head on. So I'm just going to sew a couple more with you so you can see. So I'm going to go through the front leg, make sure that the nose is straight, and then just go right through the head and pull my tapestry needle through. And that's how you're going to sew the head on. So just keep sewing all the way around and then come back. So you can see how I have the head sewn on nicely. And I have it sewed on all the way around. And then I stopped right here on the side, on the back. So you can stop anywhere you want on the back. And then I'm going to take my loose yarn in that I have on the front. And I'm just going to feed it through to where I left off. Just make sure that the front still looks nice and then take and tie your knot and then just bury your loose yarn ends and then I'm going to show you how to attach the hind legs. Now you're going to take your hind leg and make sure that the paw is facing up and you're just going to position it onto the side of your dog and make sure that the bottom lines up too and then you're just going to take your tapestry needle and you're just going to go right through the center and you're going to come out on the body make sure that you leave enough loose yarn in for tying a knot and then you're going to go right back through the body and through the leg and come out close to where you went in with your tapestry needle this is a little thicker yarn so getting the tapestry needle out Kind of just jiggle it. And then now it's attached to the body. So you can take and just tie a knot. And that just gives you a little dimple on the side of the leg. And then you can take your tapestry needle, go right back through where you tied your knot and then come out on the body and then you can take and just sew the hind leg on so you just go in and out and then just sew it in place so you can go through the top and then when you're done sewing this hind leg on and burying your loose yarn ends you can go to the other side and sew that leg on now for her I'm going to take my tapestry needle and the same colored yarn and I'm going to sew make sure that her paws that you can see the shape of her paws and then I'm just going to sew the two paws together so I'm just going to take a bite out of the front paw move her hair so you can see 
So I'm taking a bite out of the front paw and just leaving a loose, enough for loose yarn end. And then I'm going to take a little bit out of the side paw And then I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then you can bury your loose yarn. And I'm also taking and just sewing a stitch on the front. And sewing those two together. And that's how she sits. And then I'm just going to bury all of the loose yarn ends. And I'm going to show you how to decorate her. And you could decorate your poodle however you want, but I'm going to show you how I decorate mine. And you're going to make your loops the same way. Now I've placed the fur. And I just want to show you where I placed mine. So I went all along the neck. And just made it the same way that you did for the ears. I just did one row around the neck and around the back. And then also I put some along the back here. But you could decorate. You may want to put some on the back of the legs, however you want to do it. And then I put some on her paws. And I just put one row. And I did it right at the base where you start to have the out pouch for the paw. I just did it right around the top portion only. I didn't go through the back, just the top. Same thing, just did the front of the paws, both front paws. And that's how I decorated with the fur. And now I'm going to show you how to make the tail. Now to make the tail, we're going to start with the magic circle again. And I'm still using my J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. And you're just going to bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to do 6 single crochet into the magic circle. And then just take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base of the six single crochet. And then we're going to close the magic circle like we did before. And now go ahead and do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. And then come back. Now you can close the center of your magic circle if you need to. Just turn your work over and just pull on that loose yarn end. And you can see how it closes it nicely. Now you're just going to do single crochets into every and stitch. And this is where you can go ahead and place the yarn marker to help you keep track. And now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around for four rounds and then come back. You should have completed four rounds, one, two, three, four, of one single crochet into every stitch. Now we're going to start doing a decrease stitch. So go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And then you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch. And then you're going to do your decrease stitch. So you're going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. 
three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Then go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up again. And now you're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch around for however long you want your tail to be for your dog. So go ahead, finish doing one single crochet into every stitch around. And when you come back, if you want to make your tail as long as mine, I'll show you how long I made mine. For mine, I did nine rows of one single crochet into every stitch. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over. Just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off. So yarn over and bring enough yarn through to sew the tail onto the dog. Then you just take your tapestry needle and put it onto the loose yarn end. And um, if you didn't leave enough for sewing, just get the same colored yarn and that would be fine too. For my tail, I didn't stuff it, but you can stuff yours if you want to. Now you just take the dog, your dog and you're going to go underneath the fur that you put and then just place the, the tail where you want it. And then once you know where you want your tail, then you're just going to take your tapestry needle and go into the body and then come up about two or three rows with your tapestry needle. And then you're just going to go up into the tail and then you're just going to sew it in place. Now you're going to create the fur on the tail just like you did for the rest of the poodle. And I'm starting right at where it becomes bigger, right at the base. And I'm just going to loop my yarn all the way around just like I did everywhere else on the poodle. So I just wanted to show you that I'm going right across that row and then I'm going to go around the bottom and just stay along that one row and that's the only row that I'm going to work. And this is how my tail looks. You can see where I left. I just did the one row. I didn't do any of the other rows, but you can do your, your dog however you want to make your complete your dog, decorate your dog, and make your own unique little poodle. To make the bow, you're just going to take your yarn and fold it over on itself to form a loop because we're going to do a slip knot. Just put your crochet hook right through the loop and then hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. And then you're just going to yarn over and pull the yarn through for a slip knot. Now you're going to make a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to take your crochet hook and just go into that first stitch that you made. And then we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a slip stitch. And then you're going to make a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to put five treble crochet into the center of the circle. So you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to go into the center of the circle. You're going to bring up a loop. You have four loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, go through two loops. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through the last two. And you just completed a treble crochet. So you need a total of five. And then come back. So now I have a total of five. One, two, three, four, five. And now you're going to do a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the center of the circle. So go into the center of the circle. I'm going to yarn over and bring the yarn through the circle and the loop for a slip stitch. 
and then you finished one side. Now you're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four, and then do a total of five treble crochets on this side. So yarn over twice, go into the center of the circle, bring up a loop, and then create your treble. So go ahead, complete five total on this side, and then come Now back. chain four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the center of the circle, the same way you did before. Just go through the center of the circle and the loop for a slip stitch. And then we're going to finish off. So yarn over and then bring enough yarn through. You want to bring quite a bit of yarn through to wrap around the center of the bow. And then you're just going to take and wrap the center of the bow. And you can see how you have a beautiful bow taking shape. And then once you've wrapped the amount that you want around the center, go ahead and turn your work over. And then you're just going to tie a knot with your loose yarn end. And now you have a pretty bow that you can sew onto your dog. And you need, if you want two of them like mine, you just make two of these to sew on. So now you can see how my bow looks after I sewed it on. And I sewed it right to the head, right above the front corner of the ear. And I'm going to show you how I sewed the other one on. So you just take your bow and also your tapestry needle and put it on the long end that you left for sewing and I just cleared the space of her hair in the top of the head in the front of the ear so I'm just going to place it and I just want to make sure I place it the same equally as the other bow and then I'm taking my tapestry needle and I'm going to go right into the head and I'm just going to take a bite and then I'm going to come right up through the bow and I'm coming right next to the center of the bow make sure that you don't grab the hair and then you're just going to take and go down into the head again and come out on the other side and then you're going to come up through the bow and then go down into the head again and that's how I sewed mine on so now go ahead and tie a knot fix your bow and then you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're going to bury your loose yarn ends and how I did that is I just went right where I tied my knot 
and then you come out anywhere on the head. And then you just cut your loose yarn end. And that's it. For the collar, I used the purple color, the same color as the bow. And the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to do a slip knot. So again, you're going to fold to form a loop. And then I just put my crochet through, hook, hook through the loop, and then just hold it at the base with your middle finger and thumb. And then yarn over and go through that loop for a slip knot. And now you're going to make a chain. So you're just going to yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop to form a chain. And you're going to make your chain as large as you need to go around the neck of your dog. So go ahead and make your chain and then come back and I'll show you how long my chain was. I made a chain of 40. Now you're just going to hold that last stitch that you made with your middle finger and your thumb and you're going to make a chain three. One, two, three. That's going to count as your first double crochet for the next row. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, which is the stitch that you're holding. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into that fourth chain from the hook. Bring up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and go through two. So now you're going to do a double crochet into every stitch all the way back across. I'm just going to do a couple with you. So one double crochet into every stitch back across. So this is how your work should look. And when you finish your last stitch, we're going to go ahead and finish off. So go ahead and yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to where you can sew the ends of the collar together. And now we're going to sew the beads on if you want, or if you're not going to use the beads, um, then you can just skip to the part where I just show how to close the collar. Go ahead and space your jewels how far apart you need them on your collar. And mine are spaced with five double crochet in between each one. And then I'm going to alternate mine with the different colors. I've already sewed on one and I'm just going to show you how these get sewn on. The, the um, center opening is at the top of the heart and the bottom of my heart. So I just take my, my sewing needle. Oh, and make sure you have the right side facing up. And then I'm just taking my tapestry, I mean my um, sewing needle and coming in from the wrong side. I have a knot in my, there we go. Make sure that you leave enough yarn, uh, thread on the other side for tying a knot. And then you just take your sewing needle and go right down the center of the bead. And I'm just showing you um, the type of bead that I have. You can use whatever beads that you want. And then I'm just going to go right down. I like my tapestry needle better. Unfortunately, I've got to use the sewing needle and thread. And then just go right down at the bottom through the back. And then you can tie your knot on the back. And that's it. You just go through several times and then you've sewn on the jewel. So this is what my collar looks like with the jewels all sewn on. Now you're going to get your tapestry needle and put it on the long end that you left for sewing. And then we're going to place the collar around the neck of the dog. Now make sure that your work is not twisted and that your hearts, if you are using the hearts, that they're facing up. And then take your tapestry needle and you're going to go into the top stitch 
of the opposite side and just sew the two sides together. Oop, I went in the wrong. On mine, since my long end is on the bottom, then I'm going to go into the bottom stitch and sew that side together. And then I'm just going to take and sew the two ends together. So here's how my collar looks after I sewed the two ends together. And here is the front of the collar. And then you can just pull the hair back down along the front. Sometimes I like to put a name tag on my dog. And um, I just get mine. This is a from Fido Machine. And they're engravable pet ID tags. And you can also engrave on the back. You can put whatever you want. And on the back, I put um, Jewel 2015. This is what they come with. A little ring to put on your name tag. And they cost, uh, I get mine from Petco, and it costs around $9. But they have different, that's the cheapest one that I could find. And they have dog bones and um, plainer ones. And then they have fancier ones. But you have to pay a little bit more for those. So you just go ahead and put the ring onto your name tag. Now you just get the yarn. Uh, I'm using the same colored yarn that I did for the collar. And I'm going to start with a slip knot. Just fold the yarn over on itself to form a loop. And then just put your crochet hook through the loop and hold it at the base through your middle finger and thumb. And then just yarn over and pull the yarn through that loop. And now you're just going to make a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then after you've complete your chain of 10, you're just going to finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to tie a knot and bury into your work. Just cinch down the knot and then you just take and put the yarn through the loop and then you just take your dog and you're just going to loop the name tag through So you can see how I wrapped it around the collar. And then you're just going to take and move the name tag up onto the crocheted portion that you just created. And then take your tapestry needle with the long end on one of the ends that you just crocheted and pull it through until the ends meet on your chain 10. Then you just take the two loose yarn ends and just tie a knot. And I just tie several. And then for my loose yarn ends, I just take my tapestry needle. And I take the loose yarn end and I go through the area of the knot. And I go through it a couple of times just to make sure that it's buried nicely. And then I just cut it. So go ahead and bury your other loose yarn end. And then come back and then we'll see the finished name tag. And that's how your name tag should look.